good morning guys i actually feel really good this morning i've woken up without a headache which is really really good there's been an alarm i don't know if you can hear it but it's been going off all night what time did that alarm start last night t what time did that alarm start going off but anyway it's been going on like all night um even though I didn't go to the one love concert, I did buy a t-shirt, which came today, which I'm really excited about because it said it was going to like dispatch in like two weeks or whatever, so for the fact that it came today, that's good. I was expecting it to be my duoderm blasters, but I don't know where they are, but I'm lost. Anyway, yeah, um, so we've got lots of cleaning to do today. Um, I have to go get my feed from downstairs and set that up because yeah, this one's done. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it and I've got to edit yesterday's vlog and upload that so I'll probably do that after I set up my feed and then clean you okay? Mm, tired I'm actually not that tired <laughs> mm, but I did get a bit quite early so so guys um, oh this is the shirt by the way it says One Love Manchester I think it's so cool I think it's just like a really good idea that like, even though I couldn't go to the concert I could still buy a shirt and all the money raised from these goes to like help families and stuff. Oh my, can you see these bags? Oh my god. Ew. Also obviously I'm have fake tan on. Yesterday I went all out like full on pamper, hair, makeup, tan. I needed to get some normalcy back in my life. Is that a word? Normalcy? If you can hear the kettle going off and boiling water because it needs to be boiled water that's cooled down that I flush my tube with. So I've got these bottles here. Sterile water, but this is oh, this is over 24 hours old now. So really, you meant to throw it away. So I'm boiling some fresh now. And I let it cool. Just let another one go. It's almost a litre. Not that I use a litre a day, but I like to have at least a litre. Um, and then the only other thing that annoys me is that some of my medications have to be kept in the fridge. So that means I have to come into the bloody garage every time I need to get some. Like my erythromycin, which is my motility medicine, stays in the fridge. Um, so with flushes, I'm actually tolerating the 5 and 10 mil ones pr like okay. Like I can like syringe them pretty quickly. But the anything over that, like anything over 20 mils, I'm really, really struggle with it. I have to put it through really slowly. So, I don't know why that is, because I'm struggling with bloody feeds at 96 and I turned them down to 75 yesterday and I've been turning them off and then starting them again and turning them off, which is really bad, but I've just been really struggling. Um, I do need to get my feed from the garage. That's where my bottles are. Oh, this is a very flattering angle. Just it happens to be in the garage. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I also painted my nails last night. I mean, I was gonna paint, paint them like a mint green, but I ended up going for this like lilac-y purple, like pastel. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is with this jug. Oh, this is a bad idea. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, I never think these things through, honestly. And on my phone, I don't want to stay, so I don't know. I'm just going to leave it on the side to cool down. I'll put it over here because it's a bit hot. Um, so I can't really set up my feeds until I do that really. Um, but obviously I'll get them ready and primed and ready to go. Um, but yeah. Apart from that, we're just pretty much going to spend all day cleaning because the house is a mess. Um, and when Tom was in hospital, well, when I was in hospital, Tom kept coming to visit me, and um, he was just so like, go to work, come home, eat quickly, and then go up to the hospital. So he hasn't really had much time for cleaning, so we need to do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll vlog obviously, but <laughs> really much to have a lot. But yeah, hope everyone's well again. Thank you so much love on my last video, like honestly, 
it means the world to me um, I'm definitely gonna do be doing more daily vlogs especially now that I've got more energy I just don't want to overdo it because I've gone so long without feeding then I obviously battled with feeding syndrome and you know like got used to the feeds which was really really hard and now I've got this energy that I didn't have before because I've gone so long without energy. It's not that I've got energy, it's just I've gone so long without nothing. And now I feel like I've got loads, but I don't want to overdo it by doing loads of stuff and then having like a major flare again. So I'm going to try and take it easy. I'm not going to do loads of stuff today. I'm going to do stuff that maybe I can do in my room or I can sit down and do. Um, and we've got some washing, so if I could just sit down on the sofa and fold that up. Um instead of carrying it up and downstairs and then once it's all in a big pile and it's sorted like who's washing who's when I go upstairs next I can just take it all up at once instead of having to go up and down um but yeah again I'm babbling on so I'm gonna stop babbling but yes I'm so happy that my one love shirt came hey guys the thing that I said in yesterday's vlog was how chronic well just stop loading so you but you probably will have watched it by the time you watch this for like an hour and a half left but um what I was saying is like chronic illness is so unpredictable like one minute like I was in hospital and the next minute I'm at home and I'm feeling really good I felt pretty good this morning as you can probably tell from this morning's like vlog so far and now I'm just completely drained I didn't I, could, I don't know like this fatigue just came out of nowhere I couldn't even set up my fees like Tom's has to set them up they're in the backpack at the moment because if I want to move I can without having to unplug myself and he's downstairs at the moment sorting out all my meds and stuff um he's putting them in my little like black container um and he's we've got like a box that we're putting all the other medicines in and then obviously because some are tablets some are liquids some are like little sachets that you have to dissolve in water so it's also confusing, so he's downstairs because there's not really much room upstairs at the moment because we've just got feed stuff everywhere and oh, and like giving sets on the floor and well, not on the floor but around and bottles of sterile water and it's just anyway, anyway I got a call yesterday from my feeding company asking when's good to deliver my stuff but for some reason my dietitian hasn't put she's only put 60 60 mil syringes on my order and they the company themselves can't add to the order it has to be the dietitian who requests it how am i supposed to do meds they know i put them down my tube um so not all what am i going to do draw it up in a 60 mil syringe and then if i get blockages or sometimes that like, it doesn't want to flush i need to use a smaller syringe to try and unclog it or flush it how am i meant to do that but like the hospital gave me a few small little sizes, which is what I'm using at the moment. So, and I can't ring my dietitian until Monday because they're only there Monday to Friday. So, I'm going to have to ring them on Monday and be like, hey, I kind of need smaller syringes. So, you need to tell the company because they're delivering my stuff on Tuesday. So, I can't go a whole month without bloody meds because the next they deliver monthly. So, yeah. So they're delivering all my stuff on Tuesday, um, which I'm here for, so it's fine. And then they're going to give me like a text alert when they're going to do it. Uh, I'm pre-op on Thursday next week. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, but the good news is I've gained weight. Well, we think I've gained weight. Um, not loads, but a little bit. Um... But I haven't gone to the toilet to open my bowels in quite a while. And I'm on some pretty strong laxatives like four times a day. So we're hoping that we go that I go soon. Because the weight that it's saying I've gained could just be fluid retention as well. Because like, my fingers and toes seem quite swollen. So I'm thinking it's half because I haven't opened my bowels. Half because of fluid retention. And then the other might be actual weight gain but I'm not really sure how fast you're meant to like you gain weight on feeds but I am getting like 2500 plus calories a day through my feed so I bloody hope so that I'm gaining weight but then I don't want to get to an okayish weight and then keep gaining because I don't want to end up being like really fat but <laughs> I obviously want to get out of the underweight um zone and again, my nose is running, so I apologise if you can't understand me, because 
it's kind of frustrating when I was editing yesterday's vlog I apologize there's a few bits times when I like sound quite nasally because I haven't blown my nose I need to blow my nose now um and it's quite hard to understand what I'm saying so I'm gonna shut up now because you probably can't even understand what I'm saying <laughs> but I hope everyone's doing well Hey guys, so I just woke up from like a nap and I have just picked that spot without realising. See, this is what I mean. This is why I hate having spots. Like, I don't even realise I'm messing with them half the time. Just ignore that. Um, so, yeah, I woke up from a nap. I did do an update, but I was like in a really bad mood. So I'm just not going to put that in my vlog. I've had to stop my feeds. I was in so much pain. Um, I've been on them since like about midday. Um, so I was just like, no, I need a break. So I've stopped them for a bit. As long as I get my required um, volume in in the day, I'll be fine. Basically, we ordered a gift gaff SIM card a while ago because they're mobile plus. I'm prepaid, so that means every month I pay... Oh, stupid shit. I pay um, monthly. I'm not on a plan, so if I don't want to like get, have credit that month, I don't have to have it. But gift gaff do a better deal than Vodafone. I've been on Vodafone like my whole life. Well, not my whole life, but since I had a mo like since my first phone. Um. Yes. So we ordered this gift gaff sim. Now I've run out of credit. I've come to activate the sim and put their credit on. I cannot find it anywhere. So we've come up with the so the um solu solution. I don't know what the word is. We've come up with the whatever that we've lost it or thrown it in the bin. So. Tom is out there rummaging in the rain for this bloody SIM card that we cannot find anywhere. So, I don't know, I hope he can find it because I really don't want to pay another £20 for something I can get for 10 with gift gaff. Because I pay £20 a month and I get 4 gigs of data. Did you find it? No. No idea where it's gone. Right. So, it has to be in the house. Guess we'll keep looking for it. So guys, it's been a long day. I don't really remember what the last thing I vlogged was. So if it doesn't really carry on or doesn't make sense, then I apologize. Um, yeah, today's been a long day um, and I'm just so exhausted at the moment. Um, getting a lot of irritation around this plaster and I have to keep changing it because it's aggravating me and it's making me like itch um oh I'm a bit out of breath my pots is flaring quite bad today let me know what you guys use for sore throats because my NJ is really really I don't know why I keep my NJ it's really really bothering my throat um at the moment I'm using I keep saying Diffalam but it's Diffalam spray it looks like this I use that and that works quite well. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I don't really have any anything else to update on. I did stop my feed for quite a while, quite a few hours, like five or six hours. <laughs> so it's been hard on my body. Um, I think next time that I want to turn them off, I'm just going to turn them down to a really low rate so then at least I'm getting some nutrition rather than turning them off completely. But um, yeah, so. Let me get let me know what you use to like help with like sore throats and stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I love you guys so much. Again, thank you so much for your support. I think we've hit like four hundred subscribers on this channel now, which is crazy because we're only at like two hundred and something like a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, um, give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, um, and also comment down below, just whatever you want. Um, I've been having quite a few chats in the comments recently, so join in. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next vlog, which hopefully will be tomorrow if I carry on this daily vlogging stuff. I'm doing good with daily vlogging. Um, but yeah, bye!